Okay, well I'm in Vision. And so what you're going to do on this left navigation bar, pull up your configuration menu, click on General, and then go down to Merge Templates. So up here is your Info Center area. This is where you click on the different Info Centers that you want to pull information from. So we're going to start with a cut sheet. So you're going to come down to Projects. And I have already gone ahead and set this up in here just to save time because of loading times, but I will walk you through the process. So you want to add in a, a template that you've already been working from. You've we probably already have something set up in InDesign, so we're just going to pull that in and then take out all of the information that will, that will be set up with merge codes, and then we're going to save it. And if you don't already have one set up, you can use the same process. You'll just then have to create your background information, like your, your, um, your headers or your footers and the things that you want to appear on every page. It's still going to be the same overall process. So click on the Add dropdown, and then go to Import Adobe InDesign Template. We're going to give it a name, and then browse for it on your computer. Find the template that you have set up, and hit Open, and hit OK. Like I said, I already have this set up. So once that happens, let's say this is our version of it, F FSP Standard Cut Sheet. Click on it, and then go to the Update button. So that's going to open up Adobe InDesign, which can take a minute, but I already have it open. So here we go. Here's a cut sheet that we use, it's just a standard cut sheet, nothing special. And this already has all the information uh, filled in on it. God knows how many times we've probably copied and pasted this into a different proposal. So we are going to set this up as our base template so that we can export information from InDesign to what we set up here. And then every time we need a proposal, it's quick and easy. So let's start with this header graphic. Go ahead and delete this. And when you insert graphics, you want to use a frame. Frames give you the most options in InDesign for messing with graphics. Allow you to move them and fit them to the frame and the most manipulation possible. So you're going to drag your frame and then either click on your text button or hit T to bring up your text box. Click in the frame box. And then when you open this up in Vision, you also got this merge code box that came in at the same time. So what you're going to do is make sure that you're looking at the table of projects. And then we're going to go down to Proposal Graphic. And if you just hit the P button, you can keep hitting it. And this will give you, this will scroll through for you. So. We found Proposal Graphic, click on it, and you're going to see that it's going to ask for a graphic number. For now, just go ahead and hit 1, and as we work down the page from top to bottom, go in ascending order, so 1 to 10, or really however high. I'll explain what these numbers mean later, but each new graphic, make it the next number up, and then later on I will tell you where you're actually finding these numbers and how it's figuring out what graphic it's picking. So go ahead and insert that. Now you can manipulate this little box right here, this is your actual graphic inside the frame. Just make sure this text right here stays visible. You don't want to drag it so that this red box comes up. You want it to be visible this whole time. And really for now, don't worry about how big it is. We'll be able to manipulate this later once we do our export out of InDesign. All right, so we have that in. Now we want to go ahead and we want to pick the project name and then also the location. We have that showing up in the same box. So delete this text. And then again, bring up your merge code. And then we're going to look for project long name. Oh, that was right there. Project long name, so insert that. And now we're going to use preceding text here. This will keep it consistent, and when we are if this information does not appear in vision, then it will make it where then we don't just have random dashes or commas in our proposal. So after this will appear after the, the text that we just put in. So make sure you still have that selected. You don't have to hit a space because we're going to go ahead and put the space in in this preceding text. So put a space, a dash, and a space. And now we're going to do the location. So let's do city. City's not an option. 
there we go. Location, state and province. And insert that in. Okay, now we're moved down to the client. Again, take this information out. Make sure you're clicked in there. Bring up your merge code box. And the client's going to be under company name. Our primary company. There we go, primary company name. Insert that in. Our project manager is going to be under just that, project manager name. There we go, project manager name. Insert it in. Project cost. I believe that's under total project cost. And then obviously you, you want to set this up for your needs. So if you need construction cost, uh, really a any different information, this is just a sample, but it's, it's all in there. It is literally all in there because this right here, the project size, this is actually a custom field that we have set up in our database. So this works just like everything else. So let's go and find the square footage. So here's square footage, and we want to use the succeeding text after. So if this is if there is information here to be inserted, right after what's inserted, we want to space and just SF. That will let people know that it is, let's say, 38,000 square feet. And then reference. This is just our primary contact. Okay, so then this is the proposal resume, and we'll get into more detail on this in the vision side shortly. I think I'm looking right past that. Proposal description. I saw it. Oh, did I scroll past it? Yeah, I don't ahead. know why I'm looking right over this. <laughs> yep, there it is. Okay, proposal description. So insert that in. And again, here we are doing the same thing with the text frame on our photos. So take that out, set up a text frame. Or I'm sorry, a picture frame. It's really either. Make sure you click the text button inside. It's going to be funky because it is hidden behind. So just grab this. There we go. It's more difficult than it needed to be. So we're going to go to proposal graphic. And this time we're going to use graphic 2. Insert it. And again, you'll be able to manipulate this later when we export out. And we are going to set up for this frame to wrap the text automatically. But for now, you can just drag that text right back over. OK, and then we're going to put in a completion date. And let's go with construction completion date. And you can format the way you want your date to appear. I like the standard format, but you can format it to your needs. And it shows you right here how it's going to be a little preview of the format. So insert that in. OK. Well, we have inserted all the information on this cut sheet that we want. So we are going to hit on this merge code box, save and close. 